Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to take a look at using JS8 call for MCOM. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get to the video, I've got to give a shout out to Klaus, N0SR, and Yanif. Guys, I hope I didn't butcher anybody's name. These guys are my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to join the Patreon community and get early access to many of the YouTube videos, I'll leave a link down in the description below. So after releasing the Are You Prepared video earlier this month, I received an email more or less challenging my position on using JS8 Call during an emergency. The email made reference to the fact that JS8 Call is really slow, uh, much slower than a lot of other digital modes, and went on to say that, uh, you know, even something like PSK31 would be many times faster than JS8 Call in transferring data. Uh, and for the most part, he's correct. However, the one thing, the one huge advantage that JS8 Call has is being able to reach deep into the noise to decode messages. The other thing with that is with something like PSK31, you have to be lined up on the waterfall with the uh, transmitting station in order to decode everything. Now, I know like in FL Digi, you can kind of get a little preview over on the left-hand side of the screen of what's going on uh, with multiple stations, but to decode in your primary uh, window, you've got to be lined up perfectly. Uh, that's not the case with JS8 Call. I can receive a message uh, from another station without being anywhere near his signal, uh, you know, lined up with his signal on the waterfall. So that's another advantage of JS8. So when using JS8, I really only need to know which band the other station is on since we have predetermined frequencies inside of JS8. Even if I don't know which band the other station is operating on, it would only take me about 10 minutes or so to scan through 20, 40, and 80 and see if I can hear the station I'm looking for or if anyone else can hear the station I'm looking for. Another advantage of JS8 Call is the relay feature. Uh, relays are a really, really cool feature in JS8. So let's say that I'm looking for Station X, uh, but I can't hear Station X directly. I can put out an all call to every station that can hear me and ask them if they can hear Station X. Once I get a reply from those stations, I can use any one of those stations to relay the message to Station X, even though I may not be able to hear them directly. And I'll know that that message is delivered because I will receive an ACK back from the final destination station through the relay back to my station that's originating the message. So a couple of weekends ago, I wanted to run a simulated emergency test using JS8 Call. That particular Saturday was going to be a long work day for me, so I fired up the Raspberry Pi and went ahead and opened up JS8 Call. Now the Raspberry Pi is connected to the Yezu 857 in my Jeep and I'm using a little Tar Heel 2 uh, antenna on the back. Now we all know that uh, mobile antennas are not the best antennas. They're a compromise at best. Hey, the little Tar Heel 2 is great, but every mobile antenna is nothing more than a compromised antenna. So I was kind of at a disadvantage right out of the gate. And I knew that, but it was still kind of cool to test with. So after I fired everything up, I put out a social media post. And I just said, hey, uh, I'm running JS8. Leave a message, please. I didn't even bother to put uh, what band I was working in the first message. I think I did later uh, when I put out the second social media post. But the first message, I didn't even bother putting the band in there. Now, putting something out on social media does not constitute an emergency preparedness communications plan. Uh, but in this case, it did the trick just to alert as many people as possible that I would be monitoring for the next uh, 12 hours or so. Before leaving the mobile, I had the Raspberry Pi grab the grid square from the GPS uh, unit that's attached and then feed that information into JS8 Call. 
from JSA Cole, it was transmitted out and was able to put me on the APRS.FI uh, map. This alone could be a really valuable tool uh, during an emergency. It's HF, so it's not really limited by distance the same way, uh, say, a local DigiPeter would be. Uh, but if I had out-of-town friends or family looking for me, it would give them updated information every time I broadcast out that new grid square coordinates using JSA Call. So after sending out that APRS beacon, I went ahead and went to work at my day job. Now during a real emergency, like is happening in the Grand Bahamas currently, this would free you up to take care of other pressing matters. Maybe that's uh, storm debris cleanup, maybe that's finding food, uh, finding water, whatever uh, your needs are. Uh, communications is vital, but it's probably not at the top of the priority list for those in the Grand Bahamas right now. Uh, first, you need food, water, and shelter. Those are the big three. And then communications is probably going to fall somewhere below that. So whatever it is that you find vital to taking care of at the moment, with this particular setup using JS8 Call, you can get it up and running and listening for incoming messages, and then go ahead and take care of those more pressing issues. So on my first break uh, from work, I went ahead and walked out to the Jeep and checked the Raspberry Pi for incoming messages. Sure enough, Tim, KF7VUT had left a message. While Tim couldn't hear me direct, he was able to relay a message through KB0RST. In a later message, he let me know that five or six other stations that he could hear could also hear me. So he had several different options to be able to relay that message through. He also stored a message for me on another remote system. But we'll get back to that in a second. During a break later in the day, I found a message from Anthony, W8APP. This message had been delivered direct since our stations could hear one another. I read the message and pecked out a quick reply thanking him for the participation in my little experiment. After the reply was sent, I went back to work knowing that the message had been successfully delivered since I received an act from his station. Are you starting to wrap your head around how valuable this can be during a disaster? I was able to leave my station unattended for much of the day and still receive both messages. This, along with many other features built in like JS8 to APRS, JS8 call to text messaging, and JS8 calls relay capabilities, are just a few of the reasons that I believe JS8 call is one of the best emergency communication apps available to radio operators today. Like other modes, it's not perfect. Remember I said Tim stored a message for me on another station? Well, I checked for uh, that stored message at the end of the day, but didn't see anything. Now that's probably due to changing band conditions as the day turned to night, and I couldn't hear the station that he left the message on. Relaying your station to its final destination is usually the better option as opposed to storing a message. With relays, you will receive an act from the intended recipient that the message was successfully delivered. So there you have it, guys. Now you know why I think JS8 Call is one of the best apps you can use during an emergency. It's because you can leave it unattended. You don't have to sit there and babysit the radio. You can go take care of other things during a crisis. So whatever those other things may be, go and do it. The radio is sitting there receiving messages. Uh, other things you can do with JS8 include uh, sending text messages, sending APRS messages, sending short emails. Uh, you know, there's an abundance of features built into the app. So take the time to get to know the app so that if something bad should happen, you'll know exactly what to do to get your message delivered. All right, guys, until next time, 7-3. In a later message, he let me know that five or other, five or six, let's try again. I was able to leave my station under, 
Dip, 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 unattended, unattended.